Hey you guys, it's your girl Kivy all up in the building, all up on the screen. And today we are going to talk about my basketball career. Bet you didn't know that. You weren't expecting that one, was she? She's a hooper. Whoosh! She was swooshing them baskets. Either they were swooshing her, one of the two. Um, But yeah, we're going to talk about my basketball career, all right? So just a little background story about me. Since I was little, I've always kind of saw that there are it people in the terms of school, like your popular kids, and then it was just your basics. And I never wanted to be your basics. I wanted to be your popular because it seemed like they had more fun. Life was more fulfilling for them. So, yeah, what do popular kids do? They play sports. They either have money or they're light-skinned. You know, just those are the three categories that I had to work with. I, I can't. I'm, I'm not light-skinned. I'm a beautiful brown bear. Okay? Beautiful brown bear. Um, money-wise, I don't know what we had. All I know is that my parents weren't buying me stupid stuff for no reason, just to show off, okay? They weren't doing that. They they grounded us as kids, and I love them for that. Appreciate it greatly, because we did not need half of the stuff these people was getting and getting themselves in trouble with. So, didn't have that. So, the only thing I could do was try to create some athletic bones in these bodies. That's all I could do was create some athletic bones in this body. So I decided to try out for basketball. Okay. I decided I wanted to be in the basketball team. This is my middle school year, my last year in middle school. And I wanted to be in the basketball team because I wanted to be popular, y'all. I knew I could swoosh and dunk it on them. Okay. I felt like I had it in me. Right. So I tell my parents, yo, I think I want to play a little basketball. And they like, Hmm, you sure? My dad used to play basketball in the day, and I guess he was pretty decent because he was like, oh, okay. Well, go ahead and let him do it. So, your girl ended up being a basketball star, okay? <laughs> your girl ended up being a basketball star. People wanted her, okay? So, we go to the first practice. Whoop de boop. We all just playing around. You know, the coach is trying to see, you know, who's going to be point guard. Who's going to be the wingman? Whatever the case may be. She's she, she, she trying to figure it out. So we all have to show off our skills and abilities, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm showing my skills and abilities off, okay? I can make a basket every now and then. I feel like I was doing decent enough to where I wasn't being looked at. All right? I wasn't being looked at. So, y'all, it, it comes time for us to get our jerseys. All right. And sometimes it seems like jerseys are important because it seems like the coach picks the numbers based off of how you're doing and stuff like that and, and all that great stuff. So it seems like a superior thing, right? So I ended up with jersey number two. You know, and I was happy. I was feeling myself or whatever. I was feeling myself. I come home, right? Show my sister. My sister's like, okay, you got your jersey and stuff. Let me see. Let me see. I got on the number two. She's like, oh, <laughs> we got a hooper. We got a hooper, right? We got a hooper. The whole family is like, oh, she number two, y'all. She number two. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to all the practices, right? All the suicides, touch the line, run, touch the line, run, you know, exercise. That was probably the most athletic I've ever been in my life. And now that I think about it, because they worked as like dogs literally it was like you were barely taking the time to practice hooping and doing fake games because you were just doing suicides by suicides that means you're running on the court you're touching each line and running back touching the next line running back touching the next line yeah it was like it can get intense so we come to the first game right we come to the first real game and I'm all suited, booty, got my jersey on. We looking at the other team. Like, you don't want this. You don't want this. Okay? We got the superstars of the team ready to go. The superstars, I know that's on the team that's ready to go. Um, And so, you know, they all put us with our people or whatever. And for whatever reason, it seemed like on that particular first game, they wanted, they, they set me up for failure a little bit. They, they set me up for failure a little bit because the person that they gave me, everybody else had the little people. 
They had the tiny folks. They was the ones that was 150 pounds and the person was 80 that they was guarding and blocking, right? But me, they gave me the biggest bully that they could find on the team and was like, yo, I need you to guard her. So you know me. <laughs> Miss WNBA coming in. Ready, ready. I'm like, okay, so we about to get this thing, this thing together. And y'all, when I say as soon as the game started, I didn't know if I was going left or right. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going left or right. The whole family was sitting in the stands. My sister, my mama, and I think somebody else, I can't think of who it was, sitting in the stands. And I'm like, <laughs> malfunctioning over here on the gym floor and they like you gonna catch it or no and i'm like yeah i got it i got it i'm blocking blocker blocker can you get blocker blocker i'm like my gosh what in the goose chase is happening at this moment okay this is the first time that i was like okay so this is some serious mess all right this is the real deal like i may or may not have been prepared for this first game Long story short, we did win, I think. But I... <laughs> it was absolutely not because of me. Um, It was absolutely not because of me. Uh, I was the entertainment. That that That's what I was. I was the entertainment of the game. Because everybody's like, what is what's happening here? And that's when I think my parents and my sister started to think about that whole number two on my jersey. Like, oh. So they was just... They were just giving out numbers. <laughs> they were just giving out numbers that day, right? So, fast forward. They like, don't worry about it. It's the first game. You know, you was nervous. Shake it off. Jitter, jitter. Keep going to the practices. Keep working on it. You'll, you'll, you'll get it, girl. You get it. All right? So, I get there. <sighs> we get into the practices, okay? And it seemed like the practices is cool, all right? When it's me and when my folks, it's decent, all right? I'm not making every basket, but I'm doing something, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm contributing to the team. <sighs> so, we do this for weeks at a time. She's like, all right. My coach is like, we got the next game coming up, this, that, and the third. Are you ready, Kia? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Don't be, are you ready? You mean, I was tiring them out. Did you see me? Girl, don't try it. Don't try it. So, y'all, <laughs> we get to the next game, right? And I'm really pumped up. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Now is my time. She going to put me out. She going to put me out on the field, coach. <laughs> she going to put me out there in the gym. I'm ready. So, y'all, we do this whole thing again. And no lie, like, I feel like they did the same thing to me. I feel like I was getting set up. I was definitely getting set up because they just kept putting me with these people that was like a good 300 pounds. And at that time, I was like 140, 150. All right. So this is the second game. My sister and my mama still there, you know. Whoop, whoop. She in the eye. You know, turn it up. Get happy for me. I'm like, okay, I got this. I got. Thank you, mama. Thank you, sis. I'm out here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. So you are. Uh, I kid you not, the same thing happened again. The next thing I know, somebody tapping me on my shoulder like, <laughs> we're switching out. We are switching out, okay? And so I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right, fine. You want to steal my shine? I'm doing all this work. You want to take me out? <laughs> Ain't nobody here to see you, Otis. So they sent me down. They sent me down. We get back to the practice or whatever. The game is over. Well, not back to the practice, but we get over the game. And my mom and dad, not my mom and dad, but my mom and my sister are just like, hmm, you okay? Like, are we sure about this thing? Uh, you sure? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's just more jitters. You know, I was <laughs> just more jitters. They're like, oh, okay, well, keep practicing, keep practicing. <sighs> Y'all. 
we get to practice. So I'm practicing. We redoing all the stuff again. Coach got me running extra because I'm out there looking like I'm trying to guard somebody that's a million pounds heavier than me and bigger than me and smacking me down and stuff. So, yeah. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, we got to a couple games and it was just the same outcome. It was the same outcome, y'all. It was a mess, okay? I'm still. Where you going? Where you ah! <laughs> Don't hit me. Listen, that was me. That was me. That was me for the last couple games. But then, y'all, listen. Listen, but then one game, y'all. One game we was playing. It was like the last five, ten seconds on the clock, right? Last five, ten seconds on the clock. I've been trying to catch this person. <laughs> trying to catch this person. The whole game, yet again. And by some miracle, the ball came to me. Sis grabbed it. And the Lord was with her in this moment. And the angels <laughs> helped her rise up. And I was like, Pew. and it went in the last few seconds. And it was a tie between the, between the two teams. Your girl had made the winning shot. Kobe herself. Listen. I was ready. I was in there. I mean, people were screaming, I'm cheering me on. This was my moment, okay? This was my moment. I get back to the school. I'm on the, the little broadcast thing that they're saying on the speaker, like, and Kia made the winning shot. And everybody like, hey, 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 hey. We get to the next game. Everybody excited. Everybody at practice like, girl, you got this. You got this. She, she coming in now. She coming in. I get to the next game, y'all. It's all over again because the same thing happened. I could not block my person. I could not get a ball. I could not shoot a basket in these conditions. And, you know, eventually people just realized that she, she wasn't it. She wasn't it. I joined the Nobody's Attention Club NBA. That's what I joined. The NBA of Nobody's Attention. So you didn't get fooled by the title of this. This was this is true in facts. You know, I was on the Nobody's Attention, Nobody's Radar Crew. Okay? Nobody's Radar Crew. And, you know, I don't want to say I disappointed anybody. But after a while, people stopped coming to the games. <laughs> we stopped inviting people to the games because we we found out that this was not my calling. This was not it, sis. You know, we're going to try something else. You're more of the creative person. This was not it. But I did get praise for my one basket that I made the whole basketball season. I made one shot. <laughs> I made one shot, okay? But you know what? I found out something amazing. They give everybody a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> they give everybody a trophy. So, listen. Sometimes you don't know what to do until you try it or what you're good at until you try. And that was me. That was me. You want to know what's funny, though? As I think about this story... That was my last year of middle school and we were, well, that was my last year of elementary school. Not middle school. That was the last year of elementary school. When I got to middle school, I decided that first year that I was going to try for basketball again. And why did nobody sit me down and say, sis, this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> nobody sat me down. Everybody's just like, okay, y'all, I got to the second day of tryouts and middle school basketball is a little more intense because that's when they start giving you the game and shoes and stuff and you get the real good fits. Y'all, I went to, I want to say not even two practices. I went to one tryout practice. They had me in the circle. We was doing the hand-eye coordination. And I was like catching and catching and catching and catching and catching and throwing and throwing and catching and catching and throwing and throwing. I was getting it, y'all. I was getting it. And then something happened and I missed my step 
and the ball was just like, and everybody else was like, poom, 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 y'all. And people thought it was funny. They were rolling. And I was like, you know what's rolling? You know what's funny? I quit. And I left. And I never went back. And it was crazy because that whole summer, well, not the whole summer, but part of the summer, my dad was trying to work with me. So I did make some great memories with that because my dad really was trying to work with me. We went to my old elementary school and everything. We were just playing ball for a couple, like an hour. And we were talking about it. He was like, just be persistent, this, that, and the third. Like, oh, I tried. But you know, sometimes you should tell your kids, maybe this ain't it. Because that was definitely not it. And now they laugh about it because they like, they know. They're like, girl, we just, we wanted you to learn something. And we wanted you to have the experiences. Okay? But in real life, yo, I was... <laughs> <laughs> number two weird they should have had zero on that thing because that's how many buckets i was making zero i could block knee person not knee person and you know what's funny i don't know why i chose basketball because that's like a contact sport and i'm an introvert i'm i'm the soft one to some degree i don't i'm not confrontational so all this bumping and trying to hold you back and stuff like i ain't got it in me well back then i did now i'm Drop me in the streets. Drop me in the streets. But, yeah. But just remember, y'all, if you want a trophy to have forever, go ahead and, and participate in things. Did I become popular? I mean, I guess to some degree. I just wasn't like the, the people that they was going to for popularity. But people knew who I was. And I got praise, so it is what it is. And I got a trophy forever. Will I tell my kids this, this story? Absolutely not. They'll just see mom's trophy, and they'll be like... She's a runner. She's a track star. Not your boy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this story time. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I got recruited for the Nobody's Attention crew. That was my NBA experience. Pretty great. I'll see you later. Bye.